Hey everyone, I'm gonna to try to make this a quick review on the fishing rod pin. Uh, my name is Eric. If you guys do like this one, I included a link to where you can buy it for the best price. It's only around seven or eight bucks uh, if you look in the description below. Okay, so let's get into this. This is a borderline gag gift slash real fishing rod. It really does work. And I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I'm gonna take it to the lake and see if I can catch some uh, bluegill with this thing. I have seen some people talk about catching largemouth bass with this. Uh, I wouldn't go for anything bigger than a bluegill, but you know, it's up to you if you wanna go for something larger like a catfish, carp, or a large mouth bass. I'll just be sticking to the, uh, the bluegill. So, all right, so first off, the size of this thing, you know, it says it's a, a pin to give you some perspective. This is a normal size pin, um, you know, so it is bigger than a pin, but it is really small. It's definitely, not gonna be uh, as cumbersome as a uh, like a real fishing pole. You know, if you like fishing, but you don't like it enough to buy a full-on fishing rod and pole, which can take up a lot of space in your car, or you know, if you're taking a hike, um, you know, then this is a great alternative. It's definitely not gonna work as well as like a 20 or $30 reel, but then again, it's only seven bucks, and um, it does work. Okay, so let's set it up. So let's see. So right here you have your two uh, kind of grooves in the metal. That is gonna be where you slip this part in. And then let's see if I can get this. Okay, so they clamp down like that. You kind of, it feels nice and snug. And then you just screw this in to tighten it. And it's actually on there really nice. And then extend the rod. Okay, so it was a little tricky. Uh, what I ended up having to do is just make sure this is pushed all the way down, uh, this metal part, and then you screw this little, this nut, I guess, um, and then that'll screw nice and tight, and uh, now your reel is on there really solid. So it actually feels really nice in the hand. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, uh, some four pound fishing line on here. Uh, over here, you do have drag, and I'll go ahead and test that out. And then you have another um, push stop. You know, you can either push here or you can put your thumb on the uh, fishing line here. So let's go ahead and get some, uh, some fishing line on here. Okay, so you do have a little uh, knob down there, which you can get um, at the very end of your fishing line. You can just put um, a little knot. And then once you get that uh, lined up, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, then you can go ahead and put a little tension with your fingers and then go ahead and uh, bring your fishing line in. Okay, so now I have about 30 feet of, a, I believe this is four pound test, it's a pretty small line, but um, I think it works perfectly for this reel. Um, you do have your drag over here, you're gonna turn it um, towards you, and that's going to give you, you know, the drag is not perfect. If you go ahead and turn it, you can feel a little bit of drag on it, but you're gonna wanna, uh, when you catch a fish, you're gonna either put your thumb on the reel itself to kind of slow, uh, slow down the line, or you can press this button right here, and that's gonna act as a drag as well. So I think the people who are really leaving uh, negative reviews on this thing, uh, maybe they didn't set it up right, but you know, mine came perfect. As long as you uh, get this screw down tight, and if you don't expect a reel like that's a 30 or $40 reel, um, you know, you're gonna be happy with this thing. Uh, as far as casting goes, you know, this is uh, the type of reel that will get bird's nest. So I wouldn't be casting, if you don't have experience with these kind of reels, um, I would just be casting maybe 10 feet out and make sure to always keep your thumb on the reel right here. So once it hits the water, you immediately stop it so it doesn't just keep um, winding out or else you're gonna get a pretty bad bird's nest. And a bird nest in this kind of, this small of a reel, is gonna be really hard to uh, untangle. All right, and now it's ready for the lake. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a really small barbless hook uh, since we are going for some bluegill. And uh, if you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you guys found this video helpful, uh, please thumbs up.